Hi everyone, this is R.V. Kiran, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss a small topic on engineering drawing and the topic to be discussed are drawing instruments. So, the basic drawing instruments which we are used in the engineering drawing. So, this is also a main topic based on the basics of engineering drawing so before going to draw a diagram what are the instruments what we have to use for using a for drawing a diagram so let us know about the same for the drawing instruments used in engineering drawing so these are the instruments first one is the drawing board or table drawing sheet or paper drafting tape or we can use pins clips etc pencils erasers sharpener t square or mini drafter set squares or triangles scales last one is the compass and divider now let us describe each and every instrument in these drawing instrument So these are all the drawing instruments. First one is the drawing board. Next one is the drawing sheet or drawing paper. Pins. Clips. And drawing tape or adhesive tape. Next one is pencils. There are number of pencils. T square. Set square, scale, any drafter or drafter, roller scale, protractor, French curves, compass, and last one is the eraser. So let, now let us see describe each and every instrument in these drawing instruments. First one is the drawing board. So this drawing board is rectangular in shape and is made of wood up to 25 mm thickness. So it has up to a thickness of 25 mm we are using and the surface of the board should be smooth. So, so that we can use the drawing paper clean and these are there have two basements on these drawing board which we used on the stand and the surface of the drawing board should be smooth and is used to keep the drawing paper in a settled manner that is in a comfort manner and also the left side of the board should be used for the mini drafter purpose to keep the clamp of the mini drafter purpose and we have to assure that size of the paper is less than the drawing board so drawing board should be greater than the size of the drawing sheet so that the size of the paper is less than the drawing board to hold this drawing paper we use pins 
clips and adhesive tapes so in these three we can use any of the one so we can use pins or clips or adhesive tapes so pencils are basically used to draw the accuracy and appearance of a drawing depends on quality of the pencil which we can be used and the grade of the pencils is defined as h 2h 3h and some other thing but the commonly used pencils are and the mostly used pencils are h hb and 2h pencils are mostly used pencils in the drawing sheet next one is the t square so it is a t square it is made up of two parts mainly two parts is there one is on the vertical way and second one is on the horizontal way first one is the stroke and second one is the blade which are joined together at right angles by means of screws and pins so by means of screws and pins they are attached and a t square is fitted at the size of the drawing board and slides over the board and it is used to draw parallel lines and straight lines so the t square is can be slide over the drawing board to draw the parallel lines and it can also be used to draw the straight lines of defined manner next one is the set squares these set squares are triangle in shape having one of the angles as right angle so right angle means 90 degrees so having one of the angles as right angle two types of set squares are generally used one having one having 45 degrees 45 degrees and 90 degrees so these are the three angles in the first type of the set square and the other is 30 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees and these set square is the combination with t square is used to draw lines at an angle so we can use both the set squares and we are we can use the single type of set square for using different types of angles with the t square a scale is used to draw lines of specific length that is 10 mm 20 mm 30 mm or any other thing protractor is flat and semicircular in shape its circumferential edges graduated in one degree divisions so that is each graduated mark is of one degree so one degree two degree three degree four degree and is numbered at every 10 degrees so you can see the 0 10 20 30 40 50 gradings at every 10 degrees and is readable from both the ends that is on the clockwise or anti-clockwise way and it is used to measure the angles basically these are used to measure the angles the combination of t square z square so the combination of t square and z square scales and a protractor is a mini drafter that is we called as a drafter this is the drafter and 
its one end is clamped by a screw clamped by a screw at the edge of drawing board so the left edge of the drawing board is clamped by the one end of the mini drafter the other end is adjustable so it can be moved anywhere in the drawing board it has a scale which is at 90 degrees and also has a protractor so on the bottom of the scale we have a protractor there which can be rotated at certain angles the scale can be moved wherever we used within its limits so the scale can be moved within its limits so to, to, to the top of the drawing board and the left of the drawing board right of the drawing board and bottom of the drawing board also next one is the roller scale so it is a roller scale which has a roller in it to move the scale on the surface of the drawing board we use a roller there and it is used for drawing the vertical lines horizontal lines and parallel lines third one is the parallel line to the horizontal line so the use of the roller is to draw the straight lines wherever adjustable next instrument is the french curves these french curves are made in various shapes shown here so here we are seeing different types of french curves it is used to draw curves so different types of curves can be drawn with these french curves without the help of a compass so there we can there you can see the picture uh, from the help of french curve we can see the different types of curves that we cannot draw with the compass with these french curves we can also draw an ellipse parabola and a hyperbola so these are the different types of curves in the engineering drawing which we can see later and next one is the compass a compass is used to draw circles of specific radius so specific radius we can say draw the and an arc at a specific distance so we can also draw the arc also the eraser should not spoil the surface of the sheet so the last one is the eraser it should not spoil the surface of the sheet so there uh, when we use thoroughly the eraser the drawing sheet will kept in the dark gray color you can see in the picture so in that first one is the drawing board so we have already seen the drawing board there so there are different types of drawing boards used on there so one of the most widely used is the wooden drawing board so which we are, have seen in the different colleges and universities a drawing board is of widely used is of wooden only but the plastic one is rarely used it is used in some institutions only with a t square attached to it so this is the drawing table with the iron frame so an iron frame with the base can be used to attach the drawing board and in the drawing board we can see the different types of sheets there so adding sheet and padding sheet there so padding sheet of different color 
and drawing sheet is of white color only so this is the basic drawing table used for the engineering drawing so next one is the drawing sheet or paper so the basic drawing sheet is of the right set type only so in the drawing sheet there are different types of specifications are there different types of dimensions are there for the drawing sheet so basically these are the four types of dimensions used for a drawing sheet so based upon the purpose of our thing we can use different types of drawing sheets so first one is the 216 by 280 mm that is the 216 is the width and two uh, sorry 216 is the height and 280 is the width of the drawing sheet second one is the 280 into 382 so 280 is the height and 382 is the width of the drawing sheet third one is the 382 by 560 mm and last one is the 585 by 726 mm so based upon the purpose we, uh, we can use different types of drawing sheets so in the drawing sheet on the right side bottom corner we have to address the name of the firm so name of the college and name of the student next one block is the title of the drawing so what are the topic of drawing to be used or to be drawn in the sheet on that day so that is ellipse or uh, hyperbola parabola scales and uh, lines solid so there, there are different types of topics are there so we can write any of the title that can be drawn in that sheet on that day next one is the dimensioning so all the dimensions are in mm only so we are using the drawing sheet dimensions in mm only so millimeters only so when we are drawing a 585 numbering that means that is 585 mm only it is indicated in mm only so next on the left side marks have been given for the drafting and this is the basic picture of the drawing sheet and borders have been taken on the purpose of drawing sheet so what we are using the drawing sheet the, the borders have been used on the purpose of the drawing sheet that is two centimeters two and a half centimeters and three centimeters that is on the left side and one and a half centimeter two centimeters on the right side and top side and bottom side next one is the drafting tape in the earlier video in the slide we can see different types of pins there pins and clips and drafting tapes in the three segments we can use any one of the segment there so here we are seeing the drafting tape so this drafting tape is used to stitch the drawing sheet to the drawing board firmly so by not moving any on any of the drawing sheet part it is used to attach the drawing sheet and the drawing board there we in the place of drafting tape we can use pins and clips also next one is the pencils so different types of pencils have been used in the engineering drawing so generally general for the general purpose in the, uh, in the daily thing we are using the hb pencil that is little bit darker than the other pencils here we can see different types of wood pencils so in the wood pencils the classification are h 2h 3h 4h 5h 6h and 7 8 9 and last one is the 9h next one is the b hb 2b 3b 4b 5b and 6b these are all the classification pencils of wood pencils and the marking of these is done in the top of the wood pencil so in the uh, bottom or the one end of one edge of the pencil we can see the engraving of this h or 2h or 3h pencils 
next one is the semi autocratic pencils which having a lead holder there and these semi automatic pencils are more convenient than the ordinary wood pencils so more than wood pencils some students have been using semi automatic pencils so there is no uh, nothing can be done here so we can use any type of pencils but based on the adjustment and purpose we are using from the olden days wood pencils have been widely used on the right side picture you can see the different types of pencils first one is the hard pencil second one is the medium and last one is the soft so first one is the hard leads are used for construction lines on technical drawings so first one is the hard pencils hard lead pencils these hard lead pencils are used in the technical drawings only and next one is the medium grade pencil and these medium grade principle uh, pencil are used for general use or technical drawings so we can use in both ways that is technical drawings or general use and the harder grade are used for instrument drawings and soft uh, softer for sketching so these are also used for soft sketching that is smooth sketching and last one is the soft lead pencils and these soft lead pencils are used for technical sketching only that is technical drawing only and for artwork also so different types of artworks can be done with these soft lead pencils but are too soft for instrument drawings these are very soft for instrument drawings so we are using the medium type of drawings so there we can find the h2h and hb pencils so that is why in the technical drawings medium lead pencils are widely used that is h2h and hb pencils are widely used in the next one is the eraser so generally we are using different types of erasers different companies of erasers so natras or pentel company and different company classmates so different types of erasers are in the market but for the purpose of erasing a mark or a curve in the drawing sheet eraser can be used but eraser can be used in the little purpose only that is small purpose only but if you use the highly if you use eraser highly in a, for a drawing in a, for a drawing sheet it reduces the life of the drawing sheet so it may be thinned thinned it by the drawing sheet so don't use eraser widely so don't use eraser very highly for a drawing sheet it reduces the lifetime of the drawing but also the eraser does not spoil the surface of the sheet so it should not uh, spoil the surface of the sheet when you use highly er high eraser it uh, comes in color of dark grayish color and it reduces the lifetime of the drawing sheet and spoil the drawing sheet next one is the sharpener so different types of sharpeners are used for the sharpening of pencils in the olden days we can we are using the iron made sharpener here you can see the bottom side right side, bottom of right side corner and we can see it in the different templates that is uh, a dustbin and a corp and a car we can use in the different modules so these are to attract the small children so different uh, kinds of sharpeners are there so right side one is the right side top corner is the plastic sharpener but all the sharpeners have same work that is to uh, sharp the pencil and next one is the t square or mini drafter so in the engineering drawing in the engineering college mini drafter is widely used than t square so t square is not at all used in the engineering colleges so i have seen all the colleges are using the all the college students are using these mini drafters only so these mini drafter consists of a scale which is attached at right angles that is a horizontal scale and a vertical scale 
on the bottom of it it has a protractor which is moved at different ends and one end of the drafter is clamped at the drawing table and other end is moved at different positions so we can use at different positions but a t-square is used and it has a scale it has a horizontal scale so it can be used in for drawing the vertical lines horizontal lines and parallel lines mainly it is used to draw the parallel lines only for the horizontal or vertical purpose it is mainly used for drawing the parallel lines only next one is the set squares so we can also call it as the triangles so these set squares are of two types basically two types of set squares have been used first one is the 45 45 90 degrees that is these two set squares are one of the angle of the set square have been 90 degrees and on the first set square on the left left of the picture we can see the first set square that is of angle 45 degrees 90 degrees and 45 degrees total 180 degrees have been calculated there and second one is the 30 90 60 so that is the 30 60 90 set square so two types of set square have been used for drawing the lines as well as the angle purpose also different types of angles have been used with the t square with the help of set squares only so these are the pictorial representation of the set squares so the angles are 45 45 90 and second one is the 30 60 and 90 degrees so we can use different types of angle sections here for putting an angle or for drawing an angle also we can use the set square the next one is the circle template or pro circle so these circles are used for the decoration of these numbering or any other thing so decoration of numbering in the drawing sheets so recently nowadays all the students are using this pro circle for this decoration only so different types of diameter circles have been used have been there in the right side of the pro circle so the widely used pro circle and available in the market is of the right side one the left side one is widely used in the olden days and when i am in the childhood we are using these type of pro circles in the drawing purpose but nowadays we are using the right side one that is the plastic one we are using this pro circle for different types of templates that is for the presentation purpose only for drawing a circle outside the number that is one two three we can use different types of things there next one is the scales so different types of scales are in the market in the olden days we are regularly using the wooden scale which is at the left side bottom corner so the wooden scale have been used widely in the olden days and next one we are using the plastic scales so these plastic scales are of two types 15 centimeters and 13 centimeters square so 15 and 30 and top one is the steel rule we are using so steel rules also have been used in the engineering drawing purpose but widely used scales are the plastic scales but when a mini drafter is when we are using the mini drafter a scale is not used on the drawing board because there is a scale a vertical scale and a horizontal scale in the mini drafter so these scales are used for drawing a straight lines of certain distance so that is of 50 mm 60 mm 70 mm or 3 centimeters 4 centimeters of different things next one is the engineering uh, compass and divider so right uh, these are the two types of compass and divider we are seeing in the market so left side one, uh, one are widely used and right side one is of lead pencils in the left side one we can use a pencil directly in the compass but in the right side one we are only using these lead pencils 
we are using with the help of lead pencils and when the screw is tightened then we can use the drawing there it is in the drawing but most of the students are using the left side one these are the different kinds of lead pencils used in the engineering compass so based on the purpose we can use different types of lead pencils the next one is the sandpaper so sandpaper can be used for sharpening the edges of the pencil so the edges of the pencil can be sharpened by the sandpaper only when we use it to rough the uh, surface of the pencil led to the sandpaper it should be polished there so polished and it becomes the sharp next one is the protractor so these protractor have divided in it in the one degree proportions and you can see it clearly there we can use it from the left side as well as the right side that is the clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction we can use it in the both ways so it is in the form of semicircle shape and 180 degrees can be uh, projected here so 180 degree angle can be calculated here so these are the basic drawing instruments used for engineering drawing so the basic drawing instruments used for the engineering drawings have been discussed in the above slides thank you